Hello, this is David Dean, and yes, I'm back. I've been out for uh, almost two weeks now with a um, bad um, throat and just kind of under the weather and um, getting back into it. Um, this video is about doing the Devil Amp on the west side. This has been one of the toughest ones I have for actually making work. There is a bunch of different um, issues with the lava ball and with um, smashers charging when they were seven tiles back from the amplifier, which usually never happens. So I've been trying to work on those issues and to make this as tight and as strong of a, of a build as possible. So I'm gonna be going over the entire build, a few things I wanna hit first, just where I am on the location. You can see the ridge going around right here. Um, putting down two tiles and then leaving a three by two area open. The lava ball always hits here, no issues, no problems. I know there's been a lot out lately about the lava ball, trying to maneuver it to where you want it to be. And that is something that has to be dealt with by an issue on each amplifier on a, and on each side. There are different rules. Um, over here to the north, we're not going to get into it too much. But I actually have to leave one tile open in the middle of my trap tunnel to keep the lava ball dropping in an area several tiles away. Which makes no sense whatsoever, but it's the way it works. And I'll go over that in another video. Also, my next video, I will be doing the pit amplifier. I finally got that one working absolutely great. But on this, okay, so the lava ball is coming in right here each and every time. And I'm actually using it to help take out the husk. Another issue that came up before I did a video on how you could not place traps... Well, you could place the traps underneath these ridges, but they would not work. Now they work. Okay, so now we get one, on, on this build, one extra tile to place another launcher. And I've tested it out dozens of times. And yes, it is launching husk into the air. It gets tricky trying to place one down. I probably shouldn't do this in a video because who knows if I can get it to work. But we'll do it quick. And the thing is, is trying to get the angle perfectly. And a few people have pointed out, for some reason, it seems to be a little bit easier if you're doing it with a structure nearby. Um, basically, you're going through the structure. And now, of course, there we go. So, right there, we can place it. And it's just something that takes time to get it to actually go where you want it to. The other thing that I found out, first of all, I was trying to get the sm smashers to stop charging through my walls and destroying the trap tunnel and totally ignoring my amplifier. They wouldn't bother coming up here until they had basically destroyed the majority of my trap tunnel, which allowed all the other husks to walk up and destroy the amplifier. And what I had previously was a huge trap tunnel coming out over here and then this trap tunnel here. And what I found was that the smashers were charging through to get to the other smash, um, trap tunnel and destroy it. By turning the husk so that they come out, and they actually come out right up here, I'll walk you through in a second, um, and getting rid of all this, it stopped the smashers from charging. And I was really happy, everything was working great, tested this out multiple times, and then I was having trouble getting over fast enough to put my constructor base where I wanted it. So I put this one structure piece here. And sure enough, when I ran the um, amplifier and endurance mode, the smashers totally destroyed the trap tunnel down here and never went up there to destroy this piece. But just putting that piece there evidently messed with their AI to stop going for the amplifier. So do not put that there. What I did was just leave the wall piece open here to get up. And here is, I have all this filled in. I just use um, stone for a lot of it because if you do it right, the husk won't even beat on the walls. They'll just realize it's easier to take a different path. And now we can actually get into the trap tunnel. So first, let's head down to where they spawn. Head through here so I don't get hit by the lava ball. The spawn is all down through here. 
just show you on the map and then also back here so you will have some husks coming up through that area and then the majority of them coming up through this area um, got a little thing down here just trying to thin out the herd as they're going up then I leave this open because everything coming up getting hit by this launcher over here getting hit by that launcher and then back down so then they have to come back up again while having a broadside and two gas traps eating them up get in here same thing and the one of the main things about my tunnels um, the most difficult part of doing this is the higher level um, levels um, waves 20 through 30 and basically you're trying to slow down the husk as much as possible the slower they get through the better chance you are at survival and some of them like the smashers you're just not going to be able to kill by pure normal trap damage so you want to slow them down and keep sending them backwards so here a launcher to send them back down the hill over here launcher send them back and you will get a spawn up here and that's why i leave this open so they can come straight in getting hit by the gas traps another launcher launcher a few of these walls i don't even bother putting anything on in the beginning in a lot of areas like here i will put the broadside to help kill as many husks early on but once you get into the tunnel a little ways i'm more worried about making sure that when the impact counter on the smashers and husky husk gets to zero it isn't stunned for a fraction of a second by a cannonball it's hit by a wall launcher and sent flying and the thing is with a broadside if you get stunned for that fraction of a second that impact counter goes all the way back up and the launcher won't work on it while it's stunned so that's why i don't bother putting them in deeper into the trap tunnels but this just basically kind of becomes a bunch of two by ones through here where they zigzag through over here to the opening <coughs> which also happens to be where anything stepping on this launcher or that launcher gets hit by up in the air hits the 45 and comes back to here where it gets hit by a wall launcher possibly sending it back in the tunnel to that wall launcher to that wall launcher to that one to this one and all the way back down the tunnel again if it's a husky hut smashers it takes two or three hits um, i got a floor launcher to send them up flying so they actually take the fall damage if they actually get down here same thing launch straight up in the air hopefully take a massive fall damage or hit by the wall launcher sending them back in here which we haven't gone through yet into my main trap tunnel area get to that in a second but everything that comes out of this tunnel lands here i do put up occasional wall darts um, right now i have about 50 structural pieces i haven't even used so since i had a bunch of extra structural pieces i did end up putting in a bunch of wall darts in places that they um since they have no impact they don't interfere with the launchers so like here they're going to be walking down this entire length and the entire time the wall darts will be hitting them in the back same thing over here and then as i was saying they have to go through here we got a row of three um, wall launchers and actually four floor launchers with this one on the end with these two setting them up to a 45 sending them backwards or where I stated before so they just keep going around in this stalling them and keeps flinging them up into the air and as long as you have nothing built over here the smasher seem to not attack these walls anymore I've ran it uh, let's see three times now um, pretty well all the way through and never once did the smashers attack the walls <coughs> excuse me throat still a little bit bare over here as I was saying I got the um, wall launchers spinning them either back into the tunnel here or back out over here where hopefully they'll get hit by the lava ball if not then they got to try to go through the launchers and get hit by these other wall launchers back I was having a problem before when I had this one set back even with this tile that the smashers would go flying back and they would try to beat through the wall there so I brought this out one tile further and they no longer try to beat through the wall anywhere here they all try to go back through this and do not succeed 
and here I have the broad sides lined up because they do a lot of damage and they do knock down that impact counter so I put them in places they do not interfere with launchers here so anything coming out this side or getting tossed over here by these launchers they're getting eaten up by four broadsides and the wall darts as they're trying to get over here a lot of times I will have um, flingers come in here and they'll just try to find the perfect angle for hitting the amplifier even though they can't get an angle on it here and the broadsides will totally eat them up now for the main trap tunnel getting down over here as I said this is a main area they spawn so I do put a bunch of gas traps one of the main reasons for that is I want to take out those little gremlin husk because those little gremlin husks take off moving faster than all the other husks and they eat up the traps and use up the trap durabilities so if I can kill them early on then I don't have to worry about them eating up my trap durability same thing with um, normal husk early on in the game um, these broadsides down here sometimes they get destroyed on the spawn sometimes they don't um, when they don't definitely put out some extra damage get up here everything should be coming in over here or through this side because you will get a bit of a spawn over here I leave that open because some like to drop in there and when I didn't leave it open occasionally they would stand back here and just beat on the walls and try to destroy them husk are not that smart and you can't totally wall this off without going to great lengths but this works great never had I had a flinger or a lobber being able to hit with hit my amplifier um, without going through the, all the trap tunnels and through there to try to get it up to it and they just can't make it that far coming in here launcher over here to basic timeout room as I said earlier I do put the broadsides at the beginning of the trap tunnel to thin out the herd also getting hit by a broadside here getting hit by the tar trap so they're frozen for a bit and then the launcher sends them back down and then they have to come back up and redo it again and then back here same thing launcher sending them back to this launcher sending them back and it just keeps them going through that loop until they finally make it out to get eaten up by the broadsides this works extremely well <clears throat> extremely well over here this is where the majority of stuff are going to go and same thing I got over there launcher over here broadside broadside gas trap with a launcher standing in a tar pit and finally they get out and get through here I did have a broadside here before <clears throat> but it seemed to be knocking some of the husks through when the um, cannonball would bounce off this wall and then hit the husk they would go inside the wall pinned against the stone behind it and then they would start bashing through the metal from the other side of the metal obviously not something I want so I took out the broadsides and just put in the dynamos launcher at the end come around and that's where we we're at before and that's where we meet up with the other tunnel ah my voice I can already tell it's kind of going again all right let that go um, over here is the second area where you have the 45s being launched up this little 45 over here launches up and just puts them down in the middle here to be blown up by the lava ball or the broadsides if you get hit up here on these two launch pads that takes you right up here where they're getting hit by this launcher I got a broadside up there to knock down the impact counter and to do a little bit of damage a launcher that sends them straight up if they actually get off this tile they step up here launch straight up and take the massive fall damage <clears throat> and then if they get down here they're back at it again and stuck in this infinite loop of launchers this thing is working great I'm so happy I finally figured out the bug as far as what was causing the smashers to charge and want, now that I've got that taken care of I got the lava ball right where I want it where I'm able to use it as basically a trap to help take out the husk it is working great um, up here I do put up this ramp here and put up these walls 
basically I was doing that as bait to try to get the smashers to come up here before I had destroyed this area <clears throat> and it didn't seem to help all that much except when Hus did get up here um, they it was knocking them backwards and helping protect the amplifier so I just left it up uh, as you've probably seen in my other videos I don't do a lot for protecting around the amplifier one of the key things you do want just the basic pieces to keep either um, mini bosses or smashers busy um, and then you want floor launchers to send them flying the one thing is if you put a corner here you have to put a wall up here to do let's go over here there we go it, um, you have to block off and you only need to do it on one of the corners Otherwise, this launches up husk, another husk walks in, and they can just walk straight across here. And straight into the amplifier without destroying your slants. That is definitely what you do not want. Like over here, I have no launcher, no floor, so the husk can't walk in here. It's only when you elevate the ground by placing a tile can they freely walk in. So that's why some places I have walls, like over here, because I got a corner piece, same thing there. That's why I got the half walls. If I do get a mini boss up here, this is one of the few amps. There's just no lava to shove them into or a cliff to push them off. So I just, I trust my build to take out everything else. So I just put up walls, mini bosses beat on the walls, and I just keep putting up more as they go around. Same thing if I get smashers up here. I just keep them busy building walls over on this side so they end up running over here. This is really not part of the devil amplifier. This is actually part of the ridge amplifier where I knock the husk down into the pit amplifier and then they come back through here to get up there. And this just slows that down. I'll be showing my ridge amplifier later. Um, got this awesome new build, which I definitely want to show off. But this is the one that was kind of really giving me the most trouble. And now I found a good solution to it. Um, just to show you over here. I did wall all this off all the way up here. Put stairs in and walls. And that way they don't even bother trying to bash the walls anymore. They just walk straight through. So definitely no, let me know your comments. I know my voice is still off, but I'm trying. And let me know what amplifier and what amplifier size you want to see next. I did a big change on the beach amplifier to the south. As I said, next time I'm going to do the pit amplifier. And I've almost finished off the devil amp to the north, but I need to test run it um, two or three times more. One of the worst things about the Devil Amplifier now in the Endurance mode, most of the times it does not get attacked until the 14th wave. So if you want to test out your build to see if it actually works, you got to spend an hour or two just going through the Endurance mode trying to get a wave to hit it. To hit it. Because even on that 14th wave, there's only a 50% chance that this side is going to get attacked. But that is my build. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts. And take care and have an amazing day.